and these eight have scored 29 wins, amounting to £126,500 in win and place prize money. Number one, remittance man Richard Dunwoody, two am runner, visored, but not for the first time, Gary Moore. Number three, Bigner Hill, Eamon McKinley. Four, file Concord, Mark Pittman. Five is Geostar, Gary Lyons. Then the non-runner, man on the line, number six. Seven is monumental lad, Robert Bellamy. Eight is repeat the dose, Brendan Powell. And finally, number nine, Trafellin Cone with uh, Peter Scudamore. Eight runners then for the 3.35 here at Captain Park. And here's the latest betting. Far Concord is the two to one favourite from nine to four. Trafellin Kern is nine to four from five to two. Remittance Man three to one opened at nine to four, and repeat the dose a seven to one chance. Monumental Lad is twenty to one. Geostar on thirty three is along with Bigner Hill, and I'm really the extreme outsider one hundred to one. The way towards his rostrum, he's assisted today by Brian Riley. At the other end of the race, the judge is. Sandra Williams. That's remittance man number one, just turning slightly sideways on the left of the frame and uh, backing off, and he'll be coming in again. With uh, another over on the right, the orange jacket, extreme left file, Concord, and that's it. They're away. Two and a half miles the trip, 17 fences all told to jump, and a comparatively short round to the first to play in fence, and it sees Trafellin Cone already out in front. Trafellin Cone, the mayor, jumping in and falling. Trafellin Cone led at the first but pitched on Lanning, came down and brought down Bigner Hill. So those two out at the very first fence, Trafellin Cone and Bigner Hill, the two jockeys, Peter Scudamore and Eamon McKinley, yet to rise. Meantime, the rest are over the next, which was the first of the open ditches. And they're very closely bunched together with Geo Star and uh, repeat the dose Namrulla. These three vying for the lead as they come now to the third, a plain fence, and it's the maid Namrulla going on by a length from repeat the dose and Geo Star. A very close up four is Remittance Man, five is File Concord, and six and last of the survivors is Monumental Lad. But uh, drama at the very first fence with Trafellin Cone, the mare, leading into the fence, but uh, she overjumped, she came down and uh, brought down Bigner Hill. And the good news is that both jockeys now are on their feet. Both jockeys, Eamon McKinley and Peter Scudamore, unscathed. There they both are, that's uh, Eamon McKinley. Peter Scudamore just holding his uh, crash helmet. Looks a little bit lame, does Peter? Let's hope that broken leg has not suffered again. Meantime, the rest are into the straight for the first time where they're still well grouped, repeat the dose just with the advantage ahead of Geo Star, that's the white jacket, black cap, and a file Concord, none too clever, at that fence, which was the fifth. So they're coming now to number six, and it's Geo Star with the fractional advantage ahead of repeat the dose and remittance man. Then over on the far side, on the right as we see them now, Amrulla, followed by file Concord and Monumental Lad. Now they're in line for fence number seven. Into it now with Geo Star, the leader from Repeat the Dose, then Remittance Man in three, four is Falk Concord, and the last two are Amrella and Monumental Lad. So they come up now past the stands. We're just over a circuit to run in this Galloway Bray's Novices Chase, which sees Geo Star, the narrow leader from Repeat the Dose, then File Concord just taking third in front of Remittance Man, who's got the advantage of the inside rails, though, and then Monumental Lad, and last now is the complete outsider, that's Amrella. Now to the water jump, Geo Star on the near side from Repeat the Dose, then uh, File Concord, Remittance Man against the rails, Monumental Lad, and lastly, Amrella. Now they're coming to the ninth, the plain fence. Geo Star takes off and lands just in front of Repeat the Dose, then Remittance Man and Line and Defile Concord, and after their Monumental Lad and Amrella, and now they go to the second of the open ditches. Geo Star jumps it well in front. Remittance Man puts in a good one there to go right up there into second place, taking that place off File Concord and Repeat the Dose, the long time second. Now they begin to turn away towards the far side. They've now reached halfway in this grade two race. And it's still Gary Lyons and Geo Star cutting out the running ahead of Remittance Man, the only course and distance winner in the field, a horse who was taken out of the emblem chase to go for this half mile longer one. After those two, File Concord very close, as also still is Repeat the Dose, who fell when favourite last time. Now they go through the starting area and on towards the fence, which. Uh, brought down uh, both Trafellin Cone and Bigner Hill. But all these are safely over, including Amrulla, although he's a long way last, just nodded a bit on landing, did the outsider. Now they go to the final open ditch, 
and all to play for here. The leaders all racing together. Geo Star slow at that fence, and he's quickly dropped back to be fourth, and it's now Remittance Man who's gone on. Remittance Man, the 100 to 30 shot, is in front, but the SP here, File Concord 15 to 8, Trafalin Cone 85 to 40, then Remittance Man 100 to 30, repeat the dose of them to two, and it's 20s bar these four. But it's Remittance Man who has the advantage as they come now to the fourth from home. Remittance Man by a good two to two and a half lengths now from File Concord, with Repeat the Dose hanging on well in third and trying to challenge now for second once more. Then back in fourth place is Monumental Lad, five is Geo Star, and uh, Amrella uh, seems to have disappeared along the way. In fact, Amrella has been pulled up. They're coming towards the home turn, and there he is, Amrella. In fact, he looks lame. He's been dismounted by uh, Gary Moore. Meantime, the rest are turning for home with Remittance Man over on the inside and Richard Dunwoody, leaders here by a couple of lengths from File Concord and Repeat the Dose, then Monumental Lad, the only other one in with a seemingly with a chance. They've now got only two to take in this novice's chase. Remittance Man going well out in front, ears prick, coming to this one with a useful lead now. Remittance Man, an ever-increasing one from File Concord. Monumental Lad has now gone up to show in third place and then comes repeat the dose but it's remittance man now coming to the final fence he's only got to jump this one surely to collect his miles clear up and over the last well and it's remittance man drawing clear from the others headed by file concord to fall file concord comes down at the last when in second place leaving monumental lad second and repeat the dose third but at the line it's remittance man who achieves a nap hand of wins with Richard Dunwoody finishing about 15 to 20 lengths in front of Monumental Lad and Robert Bellamy. Coming through into third now is Repeat the Dose and Brendan Powell, and the only other finisher is going to be Geo Star with Gary Lyons. So an eventful Galloway Braze novices chase, the result of which is first number one, Remittance Man, owned by Mr. J.E.H. Collins, trained at Lambourne by Nicky Henderson, his 28th winner of the season, and it's number 86 for the season's leading rider, Richard Dunwoody. Woody just giving him a nice jump at the last. Just watch this. This is a bit like Desert Orchid here. Beautiful. But now, watch the horse now coming to it in second place. And this is the fall in the red colours. Mark Pittman goes down. The horse rubs his nose in the ground. But he's all right. And that hands second place to the grey. Richard Dunn and Woody looking behind. He needs binoculars to see where his rivals are. And here are the starting prices. First, number one, Remittance Man, 100 to 30. Second, number seven, Monumental Lad at 20 to 1. And third, number eight, Repeat the Dose at 11 to 2. Number four, File Concord was the 15 to 8 favourite. The Tech Returns win, 350. Places 130, 290, and 1 pound 40. The dual forecast paid 41 pounds and 60 pence. A non-runner was number six and eight round.